Yesterday we heard the news that former Chinese Communist Party dictator Jiang Zemin had died in Shanghai, China. The question is, what is his legacy? This is the man who ordered the persecution of 100 million people back in 1999. People who do the Buddhist-based spiritual practice known as Falun Gong. Peaceful, innocent people. He ordered that any means necessary could be used to stamp out the practice. People being thrown into prisons and labor camps was rampant. People being tortured was rampant. People dying from torture was very common. And this persecution campaign has raged on for the last 23 years and continues today. This is the man who created the 610 office, or what human rights workers call China's Gestapo for Falun Gong. It is an extra-legal organization. That means it's outside the law. And its sole purpose is to carry out this persecution campaign against Falun Gong. This is the man who ordered that forced organ harvesting be done to Falun Gong practitioners. Forced organ harvesting is the horrific practice of taking a prisoner, usually a prisoner of conscience, killing them, extracting their vital organs, and selling those organs for enormous profit. According to the China Tribunal, upwards of 60,000 Falun Gong practitioners each year had been killed as part of forced organ harvesting. So if you look at all the people who practice Falun Gong, their loved ones and family members, close friends, hundreds and millions of people in China have had their lives turned upside down, absolutely decimated from this persecution campaign that Jiang Zemin started and that he oversaw. So for the victims and for posterity, the people in the future who will look back at this horrific era and try and sift through what happened and learn some valuable lesson, for all of them, we must be clear, we must not mince words. Jiang Zemin belongs alongside the worst tyrants in history, people who have unleashed unimaginable suffering on humanity. This is Jiang Zemin's legacy.